Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Luby, your host, and today we are visiting with the Deer Path Inn, who's been a historic landmark building here in our community. Let's step inside. Good morning, Eileen. How are you? Well, nice Welcome to see you. Welcome to the Deer Path Inn. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. Michael Lama. Michael Lama, I'm the general manager. Great to see you. Thanks yes. for having us today. Absolutely. Here we are in historic Deer Path Inn. Tell us about the history of this building. The inn was built in 1929 by William C. Jones. It's, he's an architect who used to reside in Cincinnati, moved to Chicago, and he's responsible for building hundreds of churches, and he was involved with the World Fair. Mm -hmm. And they built the hotel in 1929. And the inn was a place where the rich and famous from uh, Chicago come here for the weekend, attending uh, parties, uh, birthday parties, wedding, mm -hmm. concerts, and they used to stay here. And in the 30s and the 40s, there were lots of residents staying in the hotel too. Okay. So they had their sleeping quarters and they come down to the dining room, mm -hmm. the famous English room, and they come and have their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow, it's amazing the history here. Yeah. Are there still permanent residents in the building now? Michael? Not, no. Not no, at this we don't time. have any, no. Okay, okay. No. Well, I'd love for you to show us around. I know here we are in the lobby. This is the lobby, and intimate and small. Always you find the fireplace going on in the winter and mm -hmm. the fresh flowers always here anytime you come. Mm -hmm. This is the front desk where the people come here and check in mm -hmm. and check out from the hotel. And I love how you have still the bells. Yes, you know, I, you the know that's the way it used to be when they want something, you know, mm -hmm. they just ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to keep the, uh, the old uh, uh, traditional thing. And, and, and the, the hotel was built a replica to the uh, manor house in Chitting, Chitting Stone, which we have a picture here. And uh, that's what William C. Jones went to the uh, Kent County and uh, copied the same Tudor house. And uh, they still have the, our picture, our the hotel picture there. And we have their picture here. Michael, sh let's take a look at some of the rooms here okay. and the dining experiences that your okay. guests can Okay, yeah, we can go to the uh, dining room. Eileen, this is yes. the English room. This is our main dining room. Mm -hmm. And uh, certain occasion we rent it for a private function, like a wedding, small intimate wedding. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, we can have about 90 people for a wedding, including dance floor. And okay. uh, you know, we, we sit inside here and in the porch. The menu here is the same menu like in the uh, hunt room and the pub. Okay. What we did uh, two years ago, we used to have a separate menu here. Uh -huh. and, uh, and now we have the same menu wherever you sit. Okay. Where you can have a hamburger here can have a pizza here, mm -hmm. you can have anything you want. You don't have to order something uh, expensive or anything. We are really not expensive. Mm -hmm. You can have a hamburger here for $12, $13. Mm -hmm. And we welcome families. This is very uh, popular with families and kids, especially in the hunt room. Mm -hmm. You know, they come here and they, we have a children menu. We okay. have a crayon for them. Mm -hmm. So here we are on the sun porch. Yeah, uh, last summer we opened the garden, which the, the garden we serve lunch and dinner here all mm -hmm. the time, but last summer we emphasize on cooking in the garden. Oh, how wonderful. So from Tuesday to Saturday, we have the grill. We use natural charcoal, believe it or mm -hmm. not, and we light it with olive oil. Oh my goodness. <laughs> try, to be, try to be green, try to be mm -hmm. uh, sympathetic with the environment, mm -hmm. and that's the direction we are taking to in the dining room. And uh, we set tables, we have lights, the Christmas lights, we leave them. Mm -hmm. And with the aroma of the meat and stuff, we were serving lots of people in the weekends. What a beautiful ambiance there. It was so popular, I mean, it's unbelievable. I w everybody was surprised. And it was really good and we are really, can't wait till the next summer because <laughs> we're going to do even much better. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I can only imagine with the beautiful sunsets, sitting out here with the twinkling lights and the wonderful food. 
and Why? the music we had piping music too oh, so great. it's really it's really nice as well. and you also have weddings out here where they can have a ceremony take place Correct, in yeah. the gardens we have a, a weddings a ceremony here and uh, they have the runner in the middle with the background of the fountain it's unbelievable setup with all the flowers of this you know of course and the summer and spring, the flowers start coming mm -hmm. up. It's really, it's very popular. Well, this is such a beautiful setting down here in the pub, Michael. Thank you. This is uh, really the pub is uh, the intimate place in the winter. And some people love to come here, have a beer or a drink, watch TV, the sport channel mm -hmm. or uh, any important thing. And you can have here a Turkey pot pie, you can have chili, you can have pizza, fried chicken, half chicken, mm -hmm. uh, hamburgers, you can have whatever you want, you can have mm -hmm. lamb chops too. Mm -hmm. So it's the same menu served in the pub, in the hunt room, and in the English room. And are those menus on your website, Michael? Yes, they are in our sub. So our residents can go on your website and take a look at the menus Absolutely. and plan ahead if they're Absolutely. looking for a nice yeah. evening out. Correct. And the price is there too. Mm -hmm. Michael, here in the sushi bar area, what a wonderful array of seafood you have. Uh, thanks to uh, Chef Sing Lao. Hi. Hello. Hi. Great. Uh, two years ago, I, I used to go and uh, patronize uh, the place where uh, Sing Lao chef used to work. Mm -hmm. And he became available from that p place, and I decided to open a, a sushi bar for him. And uh, it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, been welcomed by the community as an additional uh, venue for the Deer Path Inn. And it's been, it's, it's been very busy and it's been successful. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I made this decision. When I, when I talked to the people about it, people thought I'm crazy or something. <laughs> now they said, bravo, Micah. <laughs> and they're so happy. It is so happy. Singlao is chef, he's independent, he buys his own fish, he store it, he receive it, he cook mm -hmm. it, and he cannot find any more, more talent than this amazing. I have people from Japan here yeah, mm -hmm. who think eat here, they said this is like Tokyo. Mm -hmm. you know, what a gift. A, what a gift. It's, we are happy to have him here with us. And you have a lot of corporate um, guests that stay here as well from we a, some of the area corporations. Yeah, we do have lots of corporate people. They stay here and uh, those people, they uh, travel the whole world. And when they come here and they taste the sushi, they come back and back and back. Well, here we are in the, in the beautiful hunt room where the sushi bar is. And I loved, Michael, for you to point out some of the beautiful artifacts that you have here, such as the antler, chandeliers. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the hunt room used to be a place where people come to dine. Mm -hmm. And we, at that time, in the 30s, there was no liquor license. Mm -hmm. So everybody, they called it the hunt club. They had a okay. card. And uh, you come here and you have your bottle of liquor in a, in, in, in a cabinet. Mm -hmm. And you show them the card and you pull your bottle of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and they pour the liquor. And that it used to be called the hunt club. What a great piece yeah, of history in yeah, the story. Yeah. And, and the beautiful fireplace with fire the seating area. In, in the winter, this is the coziest place, you know. I can't uh, keep people, they wait for us to sit down here. Mm -hmm. So here we are at one of the guest rooms. Michael, I, I see that there are specific names for each room here. Yeah, all the rooms are named. We get their names from the Historical Society of Great Britain. And this is Snow Shell, number 112. This is a suite. OK. And let me see you, I, uh, you. show you, Eileen. This is suite. We are, uh, right now, as we speak, we are uh, doing a remodeling for all the rooms. We are spending close to $3 million. Hmm. Uh, the the, uh, the rooms will have a new wallpaper, mm -hmm. new flooring, some floors with wood, some mm -hmm. floor with carpet, depending okay. on the room. The rooms will have uh, window treatment. We have TV, flat screen TV. Mm -hmm. We offer water for the guests, and you don't have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this, has, this is the new look of the rooms. Uh, this is the, the room, how it looks. These sheets are made in Italy by Fretti, all uh, 300 and 300 counts. Beautiful. This is made in Milan, the throw, mm -hmm. and the skirts of course made here, but this is the room, comfortable. All brand new mattresses, uh, medium uh, mm -hmm. weight, soft and not hard. Uh, the the, the uh, video 
the uh, the TV flat screen. Mm -hmm. You have Wi-Fi in all the hotels. Great. You can use all your uh, uh, computers and mm -hmm. everything. Now, the mo most significant significant thing we did, we took the bathtubs out, mm -hmm. and we put this beautiful bathroom, Treventine marble, with a glass door, and so neat and so crisp and it is safer for the res the people to to get mm -hmm. in nobody take sh uh, baths in the hotels anymore mm -hmm. that's what the statistics say and we put this beautiful bathroom is neat mm -hmm. well i uh, love how you have the sticker on the toilet paper oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> we try to have some unique things all our towers from Fretti too from mm -hmm. italy if you notice the the, the piping towers and you have a seat and you have for the handicapped, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. So, Michael, how many rooms do you have in the hotel? You have three floors here? We have 54 rooms, okay. 29 suites. A suite is a bedroom and a living room. Okay. And the rest are executives and executive junior. Mm -hmm. And do all of your rooms have queen-size beds or do you have they some have twin? They have a queen, they have king, and they have two double. Uh, this is the room called Castberry. It's okay. number 110. This is a king size. Again, you have the crisp, beautiful sheets mm -hmm. uh, made in Italy. Uh, they have uh, the flat screen TV. And this is what the room is going to be, the look. You know, mm -hmm. Most of them, uh, each one is different. And then you have the living space on this side. Living space on this side. And you have... Uh, uh, it looks like you have a little mini bar here and have with a, a refrigerator. We have a kitchenette here, mini bar. Sometimes we have families, they come and they have children mm -hmm. and they need to have, have uh, store their milk or heat something. So we have this mm -hmm. little kitch kitchenette and lots of space, uh, lots of closet space. Yeah, this is the Windsor Hall, our main uh, hall. It's about 5,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. It divides to three parts. And the three parts, uh, we, use, we use meetings and parties, but the, the walls will be removed uh, and would become one hall. And it's very well known for weddings. We can mm -hmm. host up to 250 for okay. a wedding. And it has a, its own entrance from here with the fountain in the front. Mm -hmm. And we do lots of uh, large parties and especially weddings. And I know, Michael, I've worked with you before and you can set up the main part for hors d'oeuvres um, or cocktail yeah. hour and then the other part of the room for the dinner for dance the dinner. Correct. and yeah. dance floor and band, etc. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. And you also have an elevator here for handicapped. handicapped. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, Great. Uh, a hotel was in fire, the third floor, 1938. And uh, there was the Anuncia Horse Show. And uh, luckily only the third floor uh, only get damage, and uh, mm -hmm. the damage was estimated at that time at hundred fifty thousand dollar. But they rebuilt the third floor, and the hotel went back to uh, normal operation. Michael, it's wonderful to see that the Deer Path Inn has been able to preserve some of these newspaper articles about the history, especially the fire, as well as photos when the res restaurant hotel opened. Yes, uh, that's you know we try always to to keep this part of the history. And sometimes I receive things by mail and old postcards or old something from the, uh, some uh, guests used to patronize mm -hmm. the hotel. So we always welcome, we always welcome the, any, anything that the people have in their archive, you know, to mm -hmm. send it to the dear path in. Yeah. Excellent. Michael, on the stairs heading down to the English room, you have all of these framed awards. Could you tell me about them? Uh, we start on the right side, the Dirona, Distinguished Restaurant of North America. Uh, it's a collective of about 2,500 restaurants uh, in the United States and mm -hmm. Mexico and Canada. And we get the awards. We've been part of them uh, right. since uh, probably 2004. Fantastic. Then here we have the Wine Spectator Awards. We win that for 13 years in a row at our wine list, for our mm -hmm. wine list. Uh, it, it you know this is uh, since 19 almost 13 years fantastic now michael what are your dining hours here at, at uh, your our in? dining hours we open breakfast at 6 30 monday through friday mm -hmm. till 10. then lunch start at 11 o'clock till 1 30. Mm -hmm. then the pub stay open all day okay 
Then the dinner will start at 5 o'clock, 5 okay. to 9 and 5 to 10 in the weekend. And do you have buffets here on the weekends as well? We have the brunch, our famous brunch. We won an award for the brunch too, uh, one of the best brunch in Chicago and outside the metropolitan area by the, the readers of North Shore magazine. Great. Well, Michael, it's been such a pleasure visiting with you today and, too, and touring the Deer Path Inn. Thank you, thank you. The Deer Path Inn is a historic building located in Lake Forest on Illinois Road. Their website is www.dpihotel.com. Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. We hope to see you here at the Deer Path Inn sometime soon.